It's your favorite time of the week again. The only segment in boxing that gives you the facts and makes you laugh. It's Clapback Thursdays. Okay, today on a special episode, Professor De La Hoya here to educate bitter, broke, retired fighters who think it's okay to slander my company's name without any repercussions. Over the last few months, it has become popular for retired fighters to clout chase by alleging that I somehow screwed them over decades ago when they fought for Golden Boy. Woo! Most recently, Juan Manuel Marquez went on a podcast where he bitched and cried that I took 20% of his pay-per-view purse from the Pacquiao fight in 2012. Juan, you moron. You negotiated that contract with your own promoter and lawyer and you signed it. You agreed to it all on paper. Plus, 20% of a pay-per-view purse is the standard amount for a promoter to be paid. Do you think I'm, what, I should have worked for free? And what makes this worse is that before you were a boxer, you were an accountant, but you still couldn't handle your own finances. Listen, dude, I'm sorry you're broke, but how you spend your money is not my problem. I have always paid everyone exactly what they are contracted and entitled to. It's why I've been in business for more than 20 years. Juan, let's be honest. You only said this because you heard Canelo defame me at the press conference in May. Remember that? I'm sorry, Juan. I'm sorry you're struggling. I hate to see former fighters end up like this. It's so sad and pathetic. But slandering me is only going to get you in trouble, dude. So keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Also, Edgar Berlanga, you stopped your press conference yesterday to mention my name. You said you're going to slap me when you see me next. Why? Because I asked to see your Puerto Rican birth certificate? Because you're not really Puerto Rican? I'm asking because... When I fought Trinidad, he had the entire island travel to Las Vegas to support him. Or are you upset because I said you're a subpar opponent for Canelo? These are the facts, bro. Don't let them get you rattled. Dude, you are not fighting me. You are distracted and better get locked in because Canelo's gonna tap that ass this weekend. Good luck and enjoy your first and last pay-per-view experience. <laughs> On another note, it's time for the only segment in boxing that gives you the facts and makes you laugh. It's Clapback Thursdays. The boxing news is still slow this week, but as always, I got creative because I realized it's the best part of your boring week. So let's go. <laughs> okay. So we're a week away from the boxing match that nobody asked for, right? And the UFC event that everybody will be watching. Canelo's fighting Berlanga, another snooze fest. They're trying to sell a pay-per-view for $90 and $500 minimum in person. It's just robbery at this point to pay for another lame Canelo fight that always goes the distance against a subpar opponent. I'll actually be attending the UFC event at the Sphere instead. So now, I love the sport of boxing more than anything and I will be watching boxing matches anywhere and anytime. Even if it's a simple sparring session or two bums fighting in the street. So the idea I'm choosing to attend the UFC and support Dana White instead of Canelo tells you everything you need to know. Dana, I can't wait to see you next Saturday, buddy. I see that you got the same half surgery I got. I always knew you wanted to be like me, bro. It will be great to hang out with you face to face. Let's go! My man Turkey al is making sure that real boxing is on its way back. And he's standing on making the best fights happen. Which is why Canelo doesn't like him. Because he's demanding everybody to fight the very best. <laughs> which brings me to Canelo. I have two words for you. Archie Solis. Remember him? He will be the next topic of Clapback Thursdays next week. Canelo, you.